Let's talk weather. Today, going to be really nice, and the seven-day forecast looks pretty darn good, too. Above normal temperatures. We're in for a pretty quiet next few days across the state. Sun is shining over Denver. That's City Park right there. You can see clear skies from Burlington all across the eastern plains into the high country. Here's a live look from Vail. You can see some low clouds over higher elevations, but it will stay dry. No watches, warnings, advisories in place. Just some high cloud coverage over the northwestern corner of the state. Up and down I-25 if you're driving to and from the mountains as well. will not encounter any moisture, but still could see a couple of slick icy spots out there on places that haven't been plowed into the mountains. Now your weather headlines for today. It's going to stay dry across Colorado. A little bit warmer this afternoon than what we experienced yesterday. 50s return Monday and Tuesday here in Denver with our next minor storm set to roll in on Wednesday afternoon, bringing some mountain snow and the chance for showers across the eastern plains. Current temperatures are really cold outside. We're in the mid teens from Littleton through downtown up through Commerce City and Thornton only around 16 degrees this morning. Aurora and Parker at 17 with low 20s through Arvada. So bundle up this morning if you're skiing or snowboarding. Temperatures currently up in Aspen only at 1 and that's at the valley level and then up through Steamboat only at 5 degrees with 15 below zero right now in Gunnison. Teens and single digits across the northeastern plains. Your forecast for today in Denver. Chilly early on. We'll get to freezing right around 10 o'clock and then by lunchtime low 40s filter in. Winds stay relatively calm. It'll feel pretty nice by 2 and 3. Upper 40s for our daytime highs from Broomfield into Westminster. Thornton at 48 degrees, near 50 down through Littleton and Highlands Ranch and Englewood into Lone Tree. You're all looking at a high later on this afternoon, right around 49 degrees. So pretty pleasant, warmer than normal this time in January. Uh, through Estes Park, Grand Lake, Frisco and Copper Mountain, all in the 20s and 30s into the mountains. Winds will pick up a bit over higher elevations, but we're not looking at any high wind watches or warnings that will go into effect. Last recorded wind gust over Estes Park at 18 miles per hour. Nice, relatively calm conditions across the eastern plains. Now here's our statewide future cast, what we can expect. Dry, clear conditions, a bluebird day, beautiful up into the mountains. Our highs will near freezing in a lot of places like Eagle down through Vail and Aspen. By 730 tonight, clear and dry across the plains. Winds will be strong at times over the northeastern corner of Colorado near Sterling and Julesburg, but otherwise, as we go throughout early tomorrow morning, we'll drop down to the 20s once again, and then 50s are expected for tomorrow. Upper teens to low 20s for the most part from Denver up north through Fort Collins and Greeley and highs tomorrow. Upper 40s to low 50s, 56 expected in through Highlands Ranch. Seven day forecast showing that chance for some mountain snow on Wednesday. A few afternoon showers across the plains. Denver, the possibility for a rain snow mix looks like late Wednesday night. Otherwise, clearing conditions. That's that quick little storm that will roll through and then 50s and even upper 50s by wow. next weekend. 57. Yep. That is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm.